In today's video, I'm going to teach you how to manually add credit card transactions to QuickBooks Online. Let's dive right in and make sure you get a good grasp of the process to efficiently track your expenses. To begin, go ahead and open your preferred web browser and navigate to the QuickBooks Online website. Once there, you'll want to click on the Sign In button which should be prominently displayed on the home page. After clicking Sign In, you'll need to select QuickBooks Online from the options available. This is tailored for those using QuickBooks Online specifically, so it's important to make sure you're picking the right tool. Next, you'll be prompted to enter your login credentials. Carefully type in your username and password and once you're done, hit continue. You'll be taken to your QuickBooks dashboard, which is your main hub for managing finances. Once logged in, our next stop is the Expenses tab. You can find this by navigating through the main menu at the top. Click on it when you find it to enter the Expenses section. This area is specifically designed to help you see, manage and track all outgoing money and is critical for keeping accurate records. Within the expenses section, there's a button labeled new transaction located in the top right corner. Clicking this will open up new transaction options. Here, you'll see a list of transaction types you can add. For the purpose of this task, select expense. This tells QuickBooks that you're about to input costs that need to be accounted for, particularly those from a credit card. Now let's get specific and start entering information about your transaction. Begin by adding the payee. The payee is the individual or company you paid with this transaction. It's crucial to enter this correctly for proper record keeping and reporting. Following the payee, indicate the payment account. Essentially, this is where you're specifying which credit card or account was used for this particular expense. Entering this accurately ensures your financial reports reflect true activity. Continuing on, input the payment method. This will likely be credit card given the focus here, but make sure to select from any saved methods you have or add a new one if necessary. Next, specify the product or service associated with this expense. This part of the entry is vital as it categorizes the cost and assists in analyzing where your money is going in greater detail. Finally, after carefully entering all relevant data, take a moment to review your entry. When you're satisfied that everything is correct, click on save and close. This action will record the transaction and update your QuickBooks account with the new information. And there you have it, a complete guide to manually adding credit card transactions to QuickBooks Online. By diligently updating your transactions this way, you're not only maintaining pristine financial records, but also ensuring accurate reporting and analysis for your business. Thanks for watching and happy bookkeeping.